Good morning. I think it's still just about morning. I thought I'd post a short uh, Facebook Live this morning about probiotics or beneficial bacteria. These are the sort of bacteria that you may have heard of or may not. Um, the typically well-known named ones are um, Acidophilus, Lactobacillus Acidophilus, Bifidobacterium, Bifidum, but there are many, many, many other strains that are out there now. So probiotics, why do we need them? Well, our gut is home to trillions of bacteria and some yeast. Um, there are about, we think, think we know, that there are about 10 times as many bacteria that are living in our gut as there are cells in our body, trillions of them. It's just huge, huge numbers. And we provide a sort of synergistic role because we provide a home for them and um, they provide benefits to us. So these good bacteria provide many, many benefits to us, such as helping our immune health and helping, um, there's a gut-brain link, so they help towards our mind. There's a lot of research out there about how the link between the mind, the gut and the brain. Um, they help to make bacteria and they produce many beneficial compounds that help to keep the gut really, really healthy. So that's fantastic. You know, we've got these bacteria and that's great, these beneficial ones. However, it's not quite as simple as that. We've also got bacteria that are not beneficial to us, but they actually reside within our gut. And that may not seem that great, but everything's fine if everything is sort of kept in balance. And I describe to my clients that it's a bit like scales, so that when we've got good levels um, of beneficial bacteria, then that helps to keep levels of these not beneficial ones in check because of the different types of compounds they give off. So that's fine if we can keep levels of good bacteria high. However, when we're stressed, if we have a diet that perhaps is a bit high in too much sugar, sometimes if we're taking certain types of medication, these all have an impact on levels of our good bacteria. And so over time they can become depleted. And it's a fact that if we take antibiotics, they are going to deplete levels of these beneficial bacteria. And what can then happen is it allows the environment changes and it can allow levels of the unfriendly, not beneficial bacteria to take a bit of a hold and to multiply and grow. And when that happens, that then can create digestive problems and other symptoms. So probiotics, I am not here referring to the dairy type, sugary type drinks that you buy in the fridge in the supermarkets. They may appear to contain high levels of good bacteria, but when I mention that we have trillions of bacteria in our gut, then you can see that it takes more than a few million or um, even billion of bacteria to help replenish levels and to support levels of these good bacteria. So I certainly don't recommend buying the supermarket um, bacterial type drinks. I always recommend if we're trying to support levels of good bacteria to actually take at least one month supply of these beneficial bacteria, probiotics if we're allowed to call them that, of about 20 billion plus per day. And the main strains, you know, all these good brands out there, if you go into a good health food shop, you will find, and even in Boots now, you find them there on the shelves with all the good uh, main strains contained. There are many other strains that I do recommend for my clients for specific conditions because there's so much research now linked to strains for specific conditions. But just to give yourself a little bit of a boost every now and then, it's a really good idea to take some beneficial bacteria for about a month of about 20 billion per day. And typically these are in capsule form. They're the ones I recommend. Take them away from hot drinks, but it's fine to take them with or without food and take them every single day. The yogurty drinks, they contain dairy, they contain some sugars, and they're quite low levels of strain, so they're not actually going to do that much for you. And the other thing is, are they going to withstand the acid content of the stomach? 
because they are the acid in the stomach is designed to actually kill off bacteria, whereas the capsules and these good brands that you buy have been researched. Hi, Amanda. The research strains have been um, designed to withstand the acid content of the stomach. So this is just a short post to give you some information about um, why I go on to my clients about probiotics, beneficial bacteria, why we don't just have the good strains, we have bad ones as well, but they live synergistically inside us when everything's kept in check and in balance. So I hope you find that useful. Hope, nice to see you, Amanda. And um, I'll be on here live again soon.